All right, so we added a few chicks to our flock. And this is the brooder setup that we use. And it's just a Tupperware container or a Rubbermaid container, whatever you call it. And uh, yeah, there's a pad heater in here. We don't use a uh, heat lamp, maybe because they're kind of dangerous, at least I've heard, especially in a plastic uh, brewer like this. So we have five guys and every day, or gals that is, every day we come out and check to see how they're doing. And today I started noticing that some of these have what looks like the beginnings of uh, some poop building up around their vents. And uh, I'm not an expert in chickens, but my understanding is that these guys can get uh, what's called pasty butt. And in pasty butt, basically uh, poo and stuff builds up around the feathers on the vent and it can actually block off the functioning of, I guess, the vent. Uh, and um, what ends up happening is that it closes it off and they can, uh, they can die. It can actually lead to a fatal condition. So my job now, uh, after seeing at least one of them with it, is uh, to inspect them to see if, I guess they all have it and try to get it cleaned up a bit with some, uh, some water and potentially some paper towels and whatnot. So we'll uh, pull these out one by one and do a little vent inspection on them to make sure that they're okay and if they need a good cleanup. All right, so here's chick number one. He looks good. No pasty butt on that one. So I'm gonna separate that one out now so I know which ones are which because they, they all kind of start to mix each other up. And uh, they run around quite a bit, so so we can see, look, that guy's starting to starting to get a little pasty looking. That's one. And we've got, oh man, these these are hard to catch. Um, number two is good. So that's two that are fine. And uh, oh, this one's feisty. Okay, there's another one that looks like. It's starting, which uh, is funny because the last time I had chicks, I didn't see this. And uh, this guy here, this guy here looks okay. So that's three out of five that are good. The other two need uh, need a little bit of help. That's my job. So um, I got a little bit of water and a paper towel. And hopefully I'll be able to just uh, soften that up and uh, should be able to get them cleaned up pretty quickly, I would think. All right, so that's these guys all cleaned up. The vent there now is nice and clean. So I don't think we're gonna have problems, but I'm gonna have to keep an eye on these because uh, that's the first time that I've ever seen it. Uh, the last time we had chicks over a year ago, we had uh, 12, 11 survived, um, but none of it was issues with uh, this, I guess, paste, pasty butt, I believe is what it's called. Um, anyway, it seems now they're all cleaned up, but I'll keep an eye on them tomorrow because if it happens again, um, I'll be a little more concerned. They're only a day old. They have to get bigger. I think that the problem kind of goes away. So I'm not overly worried about it, but I'll keep an eye on them for sure. Uh, that's it. Pasty butt. Clean up your chicks with a little bit of water. That's a paper towel and they'll be good to go. They're pretty active. I like that water. Yeah, they're cute. Six, five more to add to the flock. We love chickens. So that's it in a nutshell. If your chicks have 
a build up around a vent, it's quite possibly this pasty butt. And to clean it up, you just need a little bit of water, a little bit of paper towel, and a little bit of time. And within the matter of a few minutes, you can have each one uh, cleaned up pretty good. That being said, I haven't seen this before. It's the first time that I've witnessed, I guess, poop build up like that. So uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on them because um, you know it'd be different if we had a hundred, but we got uh, we got one. I want you know to increase their chances of survival as best I can. So I'll keep an eye on them and see if uh, we run into any more issues with this uh, over the next few days. Thanks for watching.